Good morning, City Church. Uh, wanted to say that you're missed and loved by your elders, and um, we are really excited uh, about the day when we can get together um, in person. We look forward to that time. Um, hopefully it will be fairly soon. Uh, I wanted to encourage you this morning as we enter into this passage, Philippians chapter 3, 7 through 16. Um, there are some amazing, amazing truths in here. And the one that struck me um, is the one that reads this, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible, I may attain the resurrection from the dead. You know, recently I heard an interview with Paul Miller, who's the son of Jack Miller, who's intimately connected with our denomination. He's written a book called The J-Curve, and I'm planning on getting it. Maybe you all could read it with me, and maybe we could talk about it together. But uh, in this interview, he mentioned that uh, the J-curve is exactly that. It's as we enter into our sufferings, and we share in the sufferings of Christ, instead of uh, using that time to grovel and moan, that we actually pray and we seek God's face and we say that these sufferings can propel me first downward, but then upward as I'm resurrected and share in the resurrection of Christ and I'm made new. And Paul even mentions that when he says, whatever gain I had, I counted it as loss. And so what an exhilarating experience, what a life-changing experience is the gospel when it does that for us. So I encourage you that this morning, uh, as you hear the sermon, that those things will come alive for you. Um, Miss you, love you, God bless you in Christ.